friends, welcome back. Today's Wednesday, February the 28th, and I just want to thank all of you for your well wishes and your comments and all of your prayers. Uh, the flu was really bad. I did have it for two weeks, and I just want to thank you so much for praying for me. I am much better. Okay, we're going to pick up today where I left off last time, and that was um, with me dropping out of Pearl River Junior College so that I could um, hurry up and get married and get out of the house, fulfill my mother's wishes. So um, I had told y'all that I had met this guy named Scotty. Uh, he was working at a Guff, um, a Guff Oil station there along um, Highway 13. Um, I think it was in 1956, uh, President Dwight Eisenhower had signed the, um, the Interstate Highway Bill Act. So they had started building the interstate highways through, you know, through all throughout the United States. So where the highways were being built and the exits, the exits off of the highways, they were um, building these service stations. So Scotty had gotten a job pumping gas, and that's where I met him. And we started dating, and then uh, he asked me to marry him, which is, you know, what I was looking for so that I could could uh, get married and get out of the house. So we set the wedding date for March the 1st, 1970. And um, we used to go parking in an area there off of Highway 13 that was called Pistol Ridge. And uh, the reason it got its name, um, Pistol Ridge, is because um, back in the 1800s, there was a clan called um, the Copeland Clan, and they would have shootouts down there. And uh, that's how it got its name. But um, that area now, it's just a little community. But there was this place kind of back in the woods there. And um, they had these huge white um, oil, um, so, so these old white storage tanks. And then they had the pumping jacks back there too. So they had all these little roads, you know, going up to these little areas there where the teenagers would go and park. So we would go there on a Friday night or Saturday night and, and park and, and make out. And, you know, we never were scared. There were just a bunch of other teenagers there, too. So anyway, we went ahead and, and uh, started making plans for the wedding. And my sister's mother-in-law, her name was Lois, uh, she uh, gave me a bridal shower. Well, that night at the shower, I got real sick. I just remember burning up with fever and, and just feeling really, really bad. So the next morning I woke up and I was covered in chicken pox. My sister's little boy, he was about two years old. Um, he had had chicken pox and I had been around him and mother had told me that I had them when I was three weeks old. So I thought that I was immune to them, but apparently not. So that should have been an omen that I, that I should not marry Scotty. But anyway, um, Scotty's mother, her name was Gertie, and then he had a sister named Debbie. So, um, you know, there was no money for the wedding. There was no money for a bridal gown or anything. So Daddy went to the bank and borrowed, um, I believe it was $200, because I remember him asking me to pay him back, you know, eventually for, for that money that he had borrowed for the wedding, but, I mean, he was not going to let money keep, you know, keep them from getting rid of Glenda Merle. So we went ahead and had the wedding, and I couldn't decide on the colors. So I decided to have what was called a rainbow wedding. <laughs> and that's where the dresses are all different colors. So I got Aunt Sybil to make the dresses. And, uh, oops, I'm sorry, guys. So here's the wedding party. This is Scotty and Glenda Merle, and this is Scotty's sister. Her name is Debbie. She was in pink, and then my sister Bobby. She's in lavender, and this is my brother's son. His name is Timothy. He was the ring bearer. My brother's daughter, Tammy, she's in yellow. She was a flower girl, and then my brother's daughter, Phyllis, she was the uh, bridesmaid. She has on green. So there we are, and here are all the groomsmen, but I, I don't remember their names. And then, of course, there was no money for my wedding dress, so I borrowed this beautiful dress. Uh, my cousin, Carol, 
it was her wedding dress, and I borrowed the little veil. So there I am in the First Baptist Church there in Lumberton, having my very unhappy wedding. And this is Mother, just a picture of us, and her adjusting my veil. Oh, she was tickled to death that she was getting rid of Glenda Merle. And Daddy. He never said the nasty things to me like Mother did, but I know he was so happy to get me out of the house. And I wasn't a bad child, so I don't know what their beef was. And then this is me and Scotty cutting the cake. Um, now that cake, I did not want a plastic groom and, and bride on the top of the cake. So I had the florist make this. It's called a nosegay. And uh, that name comes from medieval times, back when the wealthy women, um, you know, back in the medieval times, they thought that it, if you bathe, that, that you would let evil spirits in your body. So they didn't bathe. So the wealthy women, they would um, have floral arrangements, little small floral arrangements made in sterling silver um, vases and um, vases made of ivory or little tiny containers. And they would pin it on their bosom or pin it on their hat and they could breathe the flower. Um, you know, the smell of the flowers and not have to breathe body odors. <laughs> But anyway, we had the wedding and everything, and um, Scotty had a 19, I think it was a 1964 Chevrolet Impala. It was navy blue, and oh, he loved that car. He kept it waxed, and it was just immaculate at all times. Well, he had made arrangements to hide the car in a garage across the street from the church because he didn't want his friends to get a hold of it and, you know, decorate it and everything. So after the wedding, we went to across the street to get in the car, and he opened up the garage, and there was no car in there. His friends had gotten it, and they had driven it out to Pistol Ridge. And so we got in the car with one of the groomsmen. I think it was his best man. And he drove us out to Pistol Ridge, and there was Scotty's car, and it was just covered in shaving cream and tin cans tied onto the back of it and everything. So they did get a hold of it, and they, they decorated it up pretty bad. So we got in the car, and then we headed down Highway 13 and onto the Mississippi Gulf Coast and then to uh, Fort Walton Beach, Florida, and that's where we spent our first honeymoon night. So this is getting too long, y'all, and I'm going to stop and then, um, you know, pick up where I left off in another video. Thanks. Bye.